welcome on this lesson here. On this lesson here, we talked a little bit about how to overcome fear or fight or flight syndrome, okay? I have the same this question asking me into the live seminar. So I'll do the live semin seminar on this and answer this question here. Now, a lot of this kind of movement that I explained, some of them un maybe answer question for you and some of them you need more information. Below this video, you can ask me watching full the video first and then below this video here ask me anything you need to know about so I can address this to helping you to answer your question. Now here is the video onto the seminar and the student asked about and explain a little bit about how to overcome fear. So check it out. I will see you later on. Just a question about um, how to get people um, to overcome the fear of of being in a fight. Okay. You see a lot of people who freeze. Um, yeah. How how do you bring the fight out of them? Okay. So when we teach people, we're teaching the basic rule: fight or fly syndrome. Meaning, before you want to go out the door, I beat you up first. <laughs> If I don't beat you up, somebody else will. So I might as well do it for you. Do you understand? So when we teach people all the time, face cover. We get people to cover. When you come and turn, we get people to get used to, get used to losing. Now if we can do that, now we can thinking about how to find it. But if it can't survive, all this are attacking, boom, 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 this moment, you don't want to find no one. If you fear and you block wrong, if you suddenly turn your hand wrong, that will go direct at face, turn it wrong, smack on the face, zoom in the fucking head, and now he's finished, and then you've got no more fear, because he's not going to go out of the door, is he? He's dead. Look at the creek onto the 300. When the day you're born, the priest take out, mm, you are good and you're not fit enough. Dead. Mm, <laughs> opportunity, you're alive. And then do all the same. And that means that's the first level. Second, you. Go out on the wild fly and live and see if you can survive. If you can survive out there, you come back. I will teach you to become the man. But nowadays, we don't do that, do we? Right. What you do, we send them go to fishing and then we start to teach them the basic thing that fish don't bite. That way, you know, you go there and you gotta do this to them. And now you become what you call them, sissy. Not strong enough. Have wrong confidence. And then when you come to different places, people teach martial art or any kind of thing that they try to build your confidence, call fake confidence, not real. Just try to stand up like this, and when something comes along, it crumbles. You don't want to have that. So when we're teaching people in town, we've got to get them to learn to cover all these people. To get you to learn all these tips. This is that tip. He can survive or not. Just beat him up. Okay, and then he understands that, then we teach you next fight. Attack. Defend, attack. Defend, attack. Then defend, attack. Now you don't scare anymore. You know you're gonna get hurt. So what do you do? Come straight to me. Come straight to me. Come straight to me. Come in, come in, come in. So now you just learn to get in now. You come in. So what happens is, I come in. Now, so we reduce all my power. So I get close. When you get close, he can able to attack. That's the second phase. And then the third phase, he will be able to attack me when he gets round me. So he might go round the back, move on the tackle ground, then he start to move, now he controls. So we do exactly what we're doing just now. But we have it done in three phases. To build the person who's confident enough. But if you don't defend, and then he try to attack me back while hitting you, you're going to get hurt straight away, and then you're going to be finished. In this training, at least we've got safety, we've got glove on. 
But in the street, you've got no glove. You've got to bring your hand out, and they're going to punch you, they'll punch you, and they're going to smack you on the face, you're breaking it, and now you're finished. So, this is why, how to overcome the fear of each person, you have to build them up in that way, and make sure each one of them have to want it. Want it. Not like, oh, can you build me up to be fear? But I hit you, you go, oh, oh, oh. Then you're not good because what happens is you're going to get to the heart more than you're going to be able to learn it. Do you understand me? So you have to try and get a good method to make sure you're in line, in control. Because in anything, you have to defend first before you get attacked. Look at any country in the world. Okay? If any military training in the world is at the same, they have to have a very good defense. That's why we have a nuclear bomb. For good defense first. If they want to attack you, attack you easy. So we have to have a big army. I can be defend well, then I prepare to attack. But when I attack you, I have to get in the right place. Do you understand me? So the same thing when you train like this, to get people to overcome their fear. Does that make sense? Anything else? It's that helping you to learn to understand a little bit about how to overcome fear. Now, a lot of things you need to learn to understand is taking by step, but uh, step by step. A lot of time it's not just you can overcome certain things. A lot of time you need to learn to understand the basic defense first. You've got to defend him first. If you don't defend well, you won't be able to attack. And because you don't feel, you feel scared and you feel wooey when somebody attacking you, you won't be able to overcome the fear. So a lot of time it's when we teach it, when people come to see me, this kind of thing, I will teach them slowly. Each thing builds themselves up each thing on on it so they can able to understand and they don't get wooey as they're moving so they don't get too wooey move all over the place on here i did explain to you so you know how it works but reality term is you need to learn how to defend how to overconfident how to not worry about somebody hitting you first and then you can able to attack and that's how you're going to deal with that if you want to know more like i mentioned before ask me underneath here and i will be right there to answer all the question that you need otherwise on this here you subscribe to me before your enemy do and taking the course on this on the course and i will have a lot of lesson there and if you got a problem and i will be there address and help you individually spend some time to practice i will see you on the next lesson